How you doing, cats and kittens? <clears throat> Madman here. So, I was having a conversation with my buddy Big Bird. We were talking about how hard it was to find music and information and all this stuff that's so easily available now. You cats and kittens don't know how lucky you have it because there's information everywhere now. One of the bands we grew up listening to was a band called Blazing Haley. They were kind of like a rocket they're kind of more of like a rock and roll psychobilly band that we grew up listening to and he told me to go check out their website because it hadn't been updated pretty much since we found it back in like 2004 2005 2006 wherever it was somewhere in that that range so i went on there to check it tonight and i'll be damned if they didn't update it <clears throat> so i'm going to give you guys a look back in time to what it was like surfing the web when i was a Basically, a lot of a lot of the cats on here, you know, 14, 15, 16, your age. This is what I would have seen at your age. So let's do this shit. All right, cats. So here we are. BlazingHaley.com. Just let's take a second to look at this. I'm sure a lot of you cats have not seen websites like this. This is very much what it used to look like when I would surf the web. I mean, just old school 90s looking, you know, you'd see the, you'd see like the, um, you know, like the GIF images and like the little cartoon hot rods sliding across the screen over and over and over. And, you know, you'd see, they have like, there was the, the mini files where it would be a song, but it wouldn't be the actual song. It'd be like, dan, 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 dan. It was just like, it was just, computerized music it was so lame but it's what we had back then all right so let's take a little tour blazing Haley. let's go on down the main page you guys can get a look at this oh my god the new unofficial official blazing <laughs> what the fuck is this is the new unofficial quote official blazing <laughs> Blazing Haley fan website. What? <laughs> Brought back from the deep, dark depths of internet hell. I mean, you got, you guys, you can't make this shit up. Okay, this at least had been updated to the point where we see now a, a Facebook link. I don't even know if this exists. I'll look. I'll look, check this out later. Uh, new merchandise has arrived. I mean, look at the images, guys. I mean, this is no reflection on Blazing Haley the band itself. I love their music. They're great, fucking solid psychobilly. I grew up listening to them. I still listen to Blazing Haley. Love that shit. But this website is just... Look at this stuff, man. This is, this is before the big internet boom that we know now. Okay, train you know, train to nowhere. That was off of their original CD. See, I first heard Blazing Haley when they just had singles. They didn't even have a CD yet. Was it They Get Bad Fast and Oh, there was another one. I can't remember it. Oh, a date with Ivy. I don't think that was even from their their that wasn't even from their main first, you know, CD. Let me look at this stuff, guys. Check this out. These pages, their content, pictures, and all information contained therein are copyright 1998 to 2004 by Blazing Haley Music and Blazing Haley. What does that tell you guys? I mean, this is the actual thing that I would have seen in high school. Insane. Okay, let's check out the band. Let's check out some of the pages here. I mean... This is this is it. Meet the guys. These are some old pictures, guys. Great band, but damn, this shit's old school as fuck. Return. See him in action. We got the photo gallery over here. We've got the bio. I mean, this is what the internet looked like, guys. This is why it was so damn hard to find information. You had to go through all these different pages, and hopefully it would link to another thing, to this, to that, to whatever the fuck. <sighs> Reviews, I mean... Guys, this is the, the most 
recent review here, Thursday, August 22nd, 2002. I mean, you guys see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, see, this is how we used to get music, by the way. If you didn't have Kazaa, this was like before LimeWire, I think. If you didn't have Kazaa, you basically had to go on websites and hopefully you could find the full clip and download the MP3 and then you'd make a mix CD. That's how we used to do it. Insane. Definitely insane. Then the contact information. We got scrapbook over here. I mean, you know, guys, this is this is what we had back then. This is what it looked like. <clears throat> I mean, you figure your most unprofessional blogs like mine, the one I haven't updated in a while, still looks better than this. Oh, man, look at this stuff. Old school Viva Las Vegas, guys. Custom culture artwork. This is the stuff I would have seen in magazines at the time. This is the stuff that drove me to, like, want to draw and want to do things and... Oh, I mean, I'm not going to pull up every picture. That'll, that'll take way too long. If you guys want to go on blazinghaley.com, I'll put the link below. You guys can check it out for yourselves. But, uh, you know, CD merchandise. I mean, you know, there's CDs and stuff they had. You guys can kind of, you know, hot links. What the hell? I mean, guys, this is this is what we had right here. links to other sites and, and stuff that was big at the time. There's a lot of history here, guys. There really is. There's a lot of history. Oh, let's see. Blazing Haley News. Let's check that out real quick. Yeah. 12-13-2003, guys. I mean, th this is what we got here. Insane. Truly insane. All right. I'm going to go back to full cam. So stay tuned. All right. So you've seen it. When the madman was 14, 15, and 16 years old, that's what web pages looked like. And we didn't even have, like the search engines, it took forever. You'd have to go to 10, 15, 20 pages over on Google, and hopefully you'd find like a trinket of gold and go, ooh, there's information here. This links to this site and this. I didn't know about this band or this band or this band. It was like this word of mouth searching you had to really search back in those days i mean now you just type in rockabilly music and god you'll get like a hundred thousand fans will just pop up it's insane but the way we used to do it back in the day is we'd go on the internet and try to find what we could you know and then we would look at the backs of cds and see different labels and what and check it out and go check out this website with the label and say, oh, there's other bands that, that perform on this thing. Oh, let's check this one out. Check this one out. I mean, you figure, we didn't even have YouTube back then, guys. You cats and kittens do not know how lucky you are to have what you guys have right now. It's insane. I mean, that, that really takes me back. That takes me back a spell. It really does. But I wanted to share that with you because I know I've talked about it before and for a lot of you cats that were probably maybe in diapers at the time, I don't know. There's, I know I've got some pretty young cats, and you know, of course, I've got greasers that are much older than me that were of the era before the, even the internet. <clears throat> I wanted to share with you guys what it was like being a greaser and having to try to find information back then. So, as always, if you don't know, <laughs> get a clue get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo, hang out here because you'll get to see all kinds of cool shit and don't look at those old websites. <laughs> hang loose, be safe. Madman is out. Toodaloo.